Okay, so what I'm going to do is just measure the distance for the laser uh, using this crosshair. So you see here, basically I've just moved the crosshair onto the blade itself. Okay, it needs to measure that in order to make sure that the laser is focused. So go back into the computer and there's a little icon here on the right hand side there that just says measure, auto measure. So I'm going to click that and I'll show you what it does. Okay and oh, once more time there you go you can see it's measured the distance resets over to the side and then moves back again okay so i'm going to confirm that and now what i'm going to do is go back to the computer and there's this marking process so i want to click start marking and from here there's a few shapes you can choose if you want to keep it simple you can mark a rectangle I'm going to go with polygon and click start marking. So what we need to do here is just basically just move the laser around uh, to make sure that the crosshair is uh, just above the top of the blade. So about, you know, you can see it's sort of there, but I don't want to go too far above, otherwise it's going to take longer to engrave. Okay, once it's there, I'm going to click, press this button here on the side. I've turned off the sound because it's a little bit annoying. Uh, but by default it's on and you can keep moving this all the way over like this and um, here roughly here all right. and I'm gonna click that button there on the side again all right and uh, move this cross here down again so you're basically just marking points along the way Okay, and this point here should be the outermost point. Where is it? Roughly about there. Okay. Here. There. Okay. And I can just move this all across here now. Oops, like that. And back to the computer, and uh, you can see I've just created that shape, and I'm gonna click End Masking, done. Just as long as it fits within the boundaries of the area that I've, uh, the area that I've marked, then I'm gonna be happy. Okay, just a little bit more. It's tricky to get this to line up exactly, but something like that.